Our results for head and neck cancer treatment at Virginia Mason are as good as any place in the country. And one of the reasons for that is because of the coordinated team-based approach that we have. We have a weekly multidisciplinary care conference where we present patients prospectively to come at a, together on a, the, the best plan. We participate in uh, clinical trials that allow us to uh, provide the advances in those areas to our patients as well. Today we're seeing a lot of younger patients who are never smokers. We believe that these cancers are associated with human papillomavirus, much like cervical cancer in women. We're hoping that with more broad spread use of vaccination that we will see less of that in the years to come. The good news is those patients who at the non-smoking history and the papillomavirus associated cancers usually have a better outcome and uh, usually have uh, higher expectations of uh, surviving and having a high level of function. Using microvascular surgery, we can take tissue from other parts of the body, move it up into the oral cavity or oropharynx or throat and rebuild the structures more uh, precisely to give good function and good appearance. We also have been able to use uh, tools like lasers and uh, robotics to access tumors in areas that would otherwise be difficult. I grew up in Reno, Nevada. Uh, my dad was a family practice physician. I've been in practice close to 30 years now, and I have some patients I've been seeing most of that time, and to see them back every once in a while um, is always such a pleasure because the bond is right there when they walk back in, and it's like, it's sometimes hard to believe I haven't seen him in two or three years. I look down at the sheet of paper and say, like, it's really been three years since we've seen you. It really makes me feel good when patients come back and they're doing well. And to see them back interacting with their families and back at work really makes all the work that goes into it really worthwhile.